Hey, y'all, I got a mic now, you know. Y'all, please like and um, subscribe. I'm doing pretty good now. And um, thank you for sharing. I get a lot of different countries really on, on sharing. I appreciate y'all so much, for real. Okay, let's start with this. Um, anybody who's trapped in a relationship and you know it's not going nowhere. The first question, I wrote this stuff down so I wouldn't forget nothing. The first question is, why are you more fearful of starting over than of enduring misery for the rest of your life? You're willing to tolerate disrespect, manipulation, and unnecessary toxicity because you're afraid to seek something new? Why? Even though you recognize the red flags and the toxic behavior from that person, you choose to still stay. Your fear of the unknown outweighs your desire for a better and happy life. Staying in a bad relationship only leads to your unhappiness. You have manipulation, deceit. You're allowing negativity to dominate your life. You deserve better, boo. You deserve better than being mistreated and undervalued. Your fear of starting over should not hold you back from seeking a healthier relationship. Recognize this toxic behavior. You should recognize the behavior. It should empower you and make you strong. It should make you be positive and ready for a positive change. It's better to be alone than to be with someone who makes you miserable. Starting fresh can be hard as hell, but it's a necessary step towards finding happiness. Don't let fear keep you trapped. When you do meet someone new, take your time to ensure that they are genuine. Avoid jumping into another relationship. Don't Men have this bad where men will say, oh, you mine now. And the women be like, okay. No, stop making or letting men predict your relationships. And stop, if it's a woman doing that, if you're not ready, just because you like them, that don't mean you're supposed to be in a relationship. If you don't feel that they love you and will do anything for you, and vice versa, because you know that person is not going to do nothing that's going to be harmful to you, then you shouldn't be in a relationship. Okay? So avoid uh, jumping into relationship until you sure it's for the right reasons. Not for bodies, not for money, not for nothing but because I love this person's personality. And I did a video on this about how to meet at Starbucks and stuff like that and stuff that don't cost a lot. Meet at the park, you know, uh, meet at the gym in regular clothes. Something that you don't have to be, uh, you know, on a body or on a money. Because uh, money in, in, a, in a woman's shape can make you do some strange things, can't it? <laughs> what they say, strange for, for no change. All right. So um, I've given you lots of game in my videos. Use some of it. You know, I, I know that it's very hard. You know, and if you only been in a relationship for a year or two years, a year or two ago, you didn't even know that person. You And you was just fine. You didn't care about, you didn't even think about that person. So you'll be fine in about a year or two years. Just got to stay out and stay busy. A lot of people stay, don't stay busy. And that's why they thinking and they miserable. And they, they need to leave depression's ass at home. Depressed? Okay, give it a week or two in the house. But after that, it's time to get out and move around. And I, I advise people not to um, break up until your money is right at least. And if your money ain't right because of them, then, then you can break up. But I hope I helped somebody today. Y'all have a good one. Bye. See ya.